back to, to Basil. He has now passed out. We were unsuccessful. We beat on him. We did the Heimlich. And we helped him to the floor as he became unconscious. Now what are we going to do with him since he has now become unconscious? On page 34, you see some pictures there to help you figure out exactly what you're supposed to do. Lay him down on his back. I, I got to tell you this because it, it, it was just so funny. I was in a wedding years ago. And two of the guys that came to the wedding were from way up north and didn't realize that we're in a tropical climate here in Pensacola. They came down for the wedding. They went to the beach. They burned. They did not eat lunch. So their blood sugar is real low. They have, they have a terrible sunburn. And now they're wrapped up in tuxedos at a wedding. And I was, I was, one of the, I was in the wedding. I was standing there with a the young lady uh, that was one of the bridesmaids. And we were, it was a tiered kind of thing. We were up at the top. And down below us, and a little bit to that side, was another couple, one of those cousins, and another bridesmaid. Well, we're in the ceremony, and I notice that he's kind of, he's doing this. He's, he's kind of weaving. And she, I can obviously, she's trying to hold him up. Finally, she turned around and looked at me like, help me. She couldn't hold this guy up. And just as I made a move that way, he collapsed. Boom. On the floor. Well, some guy here on the side saw it, and we were going to try to help him up, and we both got over there to the victim. And I looked at that guy and said, get his feet. Well, he thought I said, I'll get his feet. Well, we both let go of him. We had him sitting up, and we both let go of him. Out of miscommunication, and his head hit the floor it sounded like a pumpkin Just bang I've, I've seen the, the video of the wedding you can hear his head hit the stage in the video of the wedding and we both honestly it was terrible but we actually got tickled he's the poor guy he's passed out and now he has a concussion and, and it's all our fault and we literally picked him up and drug him off the stage and the funny part was the, the door off the stage was a swing door didn't have a handle on it and we, we pulled him out and we tried to get back on the stage and the door closed and his foot's hanging out <laughs> in the auditorium and the guy with me just went over there opened the door kicked his foot in and shut the door <laughs> great first aid that's tremendous you drag him off kick his foot out leave him alone here's the, the point of all that is this be careful with the victim don't take his head let it drop on the floor when, if, when, he, when, he, when he goes unconscious help him to and lay him down on his back. You're there for care, not for humor. We didn't mean to do any of that, but I look back on it now, and uh, it's funny, I feel bad, uh, but it was funny. Oh, by the way, about five minutes later, his other cousin passed out. Both of them. Somebody else drove them off. But it was quite a wedding. My dad was there that day. I remember coming to me after the wedding. He said, you have some interesting weddings here in Florida, don't you? I said, well, occasionally. That was one of the more unusual weddings I've ever been in. He's unconscious.